the one I want to talk about is this little game from Sidebar Games. Sidebar Games, an, uh, an unknown developer, Golf Story, came out of nowhere, was announced um, at, at, uh, on Nintendo's direct stream, and everybody's like, oh, that looks cool. It looks like a Harvest Moon golf game. Little background on Sidebar. I reached out to them because there's no information on them anywhere. They're a two-man team out of Australia. Uh, they have eight years of game-making experience between them. Uh, they worked on Golf Story for the last year, and they actually started working on this game for the Wii U. And, uh, you know, transferred this to Switch. And uh, I think they should be pretty happy with the reaction from people so far. You're playing it right now for a review. Well, yeah, and that's such a crazy turnaround to think about that they've been working on this game for a year. It was announced, what, a month ago? Yeah. And then, like, on Monday, we heard that it was coming out on Friday. It's just, it's incredible how quickly it's turned around. And and to speak to that, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. I've played about seven hours so far, and it's it's a lot of fun. It's a really good kind of arcadey silly mario golf type golf game uh where then you can go out after the golf matches and like help people with their problems and like level up your skills and get buy new golf clubs so it's this weird mix of harvest moon and golf mm. and it's just a very very cool weird game so i got like very distinct stardew valley vibes yeah. from it uh it, just it, looking at, i haven't had an opportunity to play it yet uh, i have it on my switch i just i this week has been a nightmare but uh yeah, I, the thing that stuck out to me more so than even Harvest Moon, the amount of side quests mm -hmm. and stuff like that, like kind of screams Stardew Valley to me. And uh, I think it's kind of funny that we, between this and everybody's golf on PlayStation this year, we've got two this golf resurgence. Right. It's like we've gotten <laughs> yeah. two golf games that have garnered a lot of attention, but are also only sort of about playing golf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like golf is like a mechanic, but there's also a ton of other stuff to do. And I, I, I love that idea to shake up a genre and be like, hey, you like golf, great, but then there's also all this RPG stuff tacked onto it, or, or not even tacked on, but like in addition Well, especially to, as so. like the PGA golf series has sort of disappeared. I like yeah. these are taking the place of Thanks, them. Tiger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that didn't help. Uh, but yeah, I, it reminded me so much of playing Mario Golf, like you were saying on the Game Boy mm -hmm. Color, I believe it was the first release. Uh, or Game Boy Advance was also one, um, Told Stool Tour. I loved those games and how they added those RPG elements in because they didn't feel like they were just thrown in there for an extra fun. And like this feels the same way. Like Golf Story, it's integrated completely into that, but the golf itself is still so, really fun. So for people who watch the trailer and don't know what to make of it, yes, it is a 2D overhead golf game. It looks like a Harvest Moon or a Secret of Mana, like that top-down top down kind of vibrant Pixel graphics. Art, yeah. But you, you basically start this story and it shows you as a kid practicing golf and then it goes... I love the opening. Like you get this cool opening that goes 20 years later <laughs> and it's like it's super dramatic and they they kind of poke fun at the concept of taking golf too seriously like the you'll walk around on a golf course and you know you'll uh, uh there's a weird thing with uh, with seagulls going on the entire yeah. time right yeah. or geese the geese, geese. yeah geese. with geese yeah. Uh, and um you can do you can do certain chores but you can also just kind of uh, talk to people and challenge them to something like somebody will say like oh you can never hit the ball across to the island over there and you're like oh yeah and then you do it but you can also drop a ball anywhere yeah that's one. Uh. Of my, that's one of my favorite parts about it so far is that like while you're just walking around like the golf course talking to people you can literally just press y and drop a ball and tee up Thank you so much for watching our conversation. If you want more Nintendo talk, be sure to look for Nintendo Voice Chat on YouTube at youtube.com slash Nintendo Voice Chat. We'll have a new episode, full 60-minute show for you on Nintendo every week.